Hey, I'm Josh. Today we're going inside Marshalls. I'm going to show you what kind of products you can buy in Marshalls to resell on Amazon to make money. Let's just go inside. All right, let's get inside this store. Marshalls is in the same family as TJ Maxx and Home Goods. It's all just one company. If you live in even a remotely populated area, you probably have access to a Marshalls. I've sold tens of thousands of dollars from this store alone. We're gonna start in the shoe section. A lot of times they like to chop the tops of these boxes off so we can't resell a lot of these on Amazon, but some of them they leave intact for some reason. Like there's this pair of Reeboks right here where the box lid is underneath of it. And here's a pair of Pumas that's intact for some reason. So we can sell some of these. Okay, so I was able to find some shoes and I'm gonna give up one of my replans here. These are Steve Madden shoes. They're called the Sabin or Sabin. They're just these women's black flats and they're almost always priced at $29.99. Sometimes you can get them a little bit cheaper, but usually not. So let's give a couple of these a scan with the Amazon seller app. So these are currently selling for $70. Let's give a different size a scan. Size eights are selling for $80 and the size nines are selling for over $90 right now. Now I know you're looking at the sales rank thinking, that's kind of high at 450,000 for shoes, which that typically is, but this is where the Profitable app comes into play. I wanna take a better look at what's going on with this product. So we're gonna give it a scan with Profitable. And here it goes, okay. So we've got our buy cost of $30 punched in there. And if we sold them right now for $80.18, which is the current buy box, that would give us a profit of almost $27 right there. And one of the things I love about this app, it has a really great feature. If we scroll down here and if we hit view variation sales, because I sell almost entirely shoes and clothes in my Amazon store. So this is essential for me to have and there's all kinds of variations within a product. And I know the sales rank isn't that great, but if we look at the variations that actually sell here, we can see that black eight and a half sell, they get 25% of the sales of these. And the size nines black get 15% of the sales and so on and so forth. So, I mean, we're looking for these sizes, eight and a half, nines and seven. These are getting like all the sales. And I can't tell you how many of these I've sold out of here. So guess what I have in my car? I have eight and a half, nines, eights, nine and a half. Uh, and these always sell fairly quickly. They don't sell real quick, but that is one of the reasons why this app is awesome. And that's why I use it all the time. And we can scroll down the bottom too. It has more information. We can see for the whole entire year, the buy box average is $72.11. And that goes for about all the ones that are in that like eight and a half through nine range. These will all sell for about 70 to 80, maybe $90, 15 to $20 profits on all these pretty much like clockwork. So there you go. I just gave you one of my replans uh, out of TMAC, TJ Maxx and Marshalls. And next I headed over to the men's clothing section. I sell a lot of clothes on Amazon and they have a ton of clearance stuff right now because it's after Christmas and they're trying to liquidate all the stuff that didn't sell from before Christmas. So they've got racks upon racks of stuff. Okay, the first thing I found here is this men's Callaway. It's like a full zip lightweight golf jacket. And it's got that yellow tag. That's the lowest price you'll see here. That's super clearance down to $18. So we'll give it a scan with the Amazon seller app just to see what's going on. Oh, that didn't work. It pulled up a bunch of stuff. Let's try that again. Okay, that also didn't work. We wanna make sure we've got the right listing. Okay, third time's a charm. It actually pulled it up there. Okay, so currently on Amazon, it's selling for $75.31. And the sales rank is okay at 350,000. So because of that, we want to take a deeper look with the Profitable app to see what kind of information we can find out about this. Okay, so we'll put in our buy cost after we scanned it. We'll just put in $18 and hit calculate and see what it spits out. Okay, so we could profit about $36 on these right now. And it's got, that's like a 200% ROI. And like I said, the sales rank is okay but it does have over 300 reviews, which is a good sign. And according to Profitable, it's gonna sell six to 32 times per month. So we wanna take an even further look at this. Okay, so these are the people that are also trying to sell it. Amazon's got six of these. Another person has six. 
And this FBM person is trying to sell for $118. That will never, ever sell at that price. I don't think. Maybe it will. No, it won't. And then I like to look at the bottom section down here. This is the most helpful section for me. This will tell me what the buy box average is for the whole year. So it was $64 for the whole year. For the last 180 days, it was $73. The last 90 days, it's $75. And for the last 30 days, it's also about $75. So there's no doubt that we can sell this for between $65 and $75. And for the whole year, it sold 209 times, which isn't a ton of times. This thing isn't flying off the shelf, but this absolutely will sell for that price range, you know, 60 to 80 bucks. And we could make almost 30 to 40 bucks on this. So for me, this is a pickup. Okay, up next, I found this pair of men's Carhartt jeans. They're relaxed fit flannel line. They're perfect for winter. And they are currently marked down to $20. That yellow tag is the lowest price that they will sell these for. So let's give them a scan with the Amazon seller app and see what's going on with these. Okay, so it is that top listing there. And they're currently on sale for $69.99. And the sales rank is kind of high. It's over a million. But what I can tell you is that a product that does have over 500 reviews like these will absolutely sell. So we want to give these a scan with Profitable to get some more information on these. So we gave them a scan. Our buy cost is $20. Our sale price will be $70. So that would give us a $28 profit on these. Now, why is the sales rank so high on these? Okay, so if we hit that button right there and load the price graph data, and if we look at the entire year, we can see... This is like a basic keep a chart. We can see that there's really nobody on this listing. There's somebody was on it right there very briefly and it probably sold. So if something's not on Amazon, the sales rank just keeps going up and up and up. But I do have enough experience to know and I've already sold this pair, exact same pair of jeans before. These will absolutely sell for about 70 bucks. And next up, I found this Ben's Columbia button up shirt. It is marked down to $13 with the yellow tag. So we're going to give it a scan with the Amazon seller app to see what's going on. I gave it a scan and there is currently nobody on this listing. Otherwise, there would be something right there. And the sales rank is 200,000 and it does have over 300 reviews, which is a good sign. I don't really need to look any further. I don't really need to use Profitable for this, but we could give it a scan with Profitable and we'd probably find the same situation where there's really nobody on this listing, so the sales rank isn't that great, and we can kind of corner the market and name our own price on this. Okay, up next, we've got this men's spider jacket, Spider. And it is marked down to $49 on the yellow tag. Let's give it a scan with the Amazon seller app to see what's going on. Okay, so currently on Amazon, it's selling for $182, 41 reviews. Sales rank is $220,000, that's okay. So for this one, I want to give it a scan with the Profitable app before we just drop 50 bucks on something. Okay, let's give it a scan. We'll punch in our buy cost. We'll just put in 50 to make it easy and hit calculate and see what it spits back at us. Okay, so that leaves us with almost an $82 profit if we sold it for that $180 mark, which is a great ROI. It's estimated to sell 34 to 59 times per month. So I want to go down the bottom. The bottom section is probably my favorite section on here. So for 365 days, the buy box average is 162. For 180 days, it's 140. For the last 90 days, it's 157. And the last 30 days, it's crept up to 186, which makes sense because it's winter time. So obviously this winter coat is going to sell better in January. But even in the summer, it looks like this is still selling okay. And if we look at the buy box for the whole year, or the volatility anyway, we know this is gonna sell for between like 140 and 190 bucks. And if we look at the whole year, the sales rank for the winter, it's 169,000. So there's no doubt that this will sell at some point, maybe not real quick for decent money. The ROI is there. So I'm gonna pick this up. And I notice a lot of people used to like to complain about Spider complaining it was an IP risk. Now this does have an IP warning on it. It will alert you with those red boxes. This is actually saying that it's not an IP risk. So I would take all these things, IP alerts, profitable with a grain of salt. I mostly go off experience and I've sold this brand a bunch of times, but I do get a lot of comments and videos about how, 
You know, Amazon doesn't accept Marshalls and Ross receipts anymore to beat IP claims and inauthentic claims. They actually do if you know how to do it right. But we need to use all these tools at our disposal to make a good decision on these products. All right, so there you have it. We hit the shoe section and the men's clothing. That's about $300 profit sitting right there in the cart. I was probably in here no more than an hour, 45 minutes to get it done. So I'm out of here and I'm off to the next store. If you want to try the Profitable app, there's a link in the description below to sign up. You can use the code Josh365, which will give you a discount on a yearly plan, or the code Josh20, which will give you a 20% discount on a monthly plan. They do offer a free trial period. It is one of the cheaper apps that you can use, if not the cheapest, for what it does. This is the app that I use. It has all the bells and whistles. So I'd give it a shot because it has helped me, or it has saved me from making some really bad buys in the past. So good luck out there, guys.